In this video, we'll cover how to connect your Bricks form to Google Sheets. I'll share two routes you can consider, and at the end, I'll show you more automation possibilities when your data is stored nicely in a place like Google Sheets. So the easiest way to connect your Bricks form to third-party services is to use something called webhooks. A webhook is an HTTPS callback function that allows lightweight event-driven communication between two applications. So in our case, it'll be Bricks on one side and a third-party service called Make on the other. And once our data reaches Make, we'll be able to wire it up with Google Sheets and thousands of other applications. The first route to achieve all of this is with code. I won't get into that in this video since I've already done that in a previous tutorial, which I'll link to in the description below. In this video, we'll focus on the overall logic and use a paid plugin that our agency released called Lite. Lite is meant to help improve your Bricks experience and as of this recording, you can already connect to Webhooks, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, MailerLite, and more features and enhancements are on the way. So to do this with Lite, we simply need to install the plugin and activate it. Then we'll need to go to Make and create a new scenario. In the scenario, click on the initial module that gets the entire process going. Search for webhook and select the custom webhook option. In this window, you can either select a previous webhook you already made or create a new one. In our case, we'll click on add to create a new one and hit save. Now we can copy the webhook URL so that we can provide it to our bricks form. But before leaving this page, let's make sure to save our scenario and rename it so that we can easily identify it at a later date. And before heading back to our form, let's click on run once so that way everything is published and live and we can test our scenario. And back in our bricks form under the actions tab, make sure to select webhooks and then paste the webhook URL under the webhook settings tab. Hit save and go to the front side where the form is. Refresh the page so that it's with the latest updates and submit information. If everything was done correctly, we should get a successful message from the form and also see the information we received by our webhook. Now, you came here to send this data to Google Sheets, so let's add another module to our scenario and this time search for Google Sheets. Select the Add Row action in the spreadsheet you'd like to work with. If this is your first time working with Make, you'll need to click on Add to link up your Google account. Next, we can select the sheet name, also known as the tab in your Google Sheet, where we want the data to go into. Let's make the first row of our sheet be headers. Now in our Sheets module, we can hit Refresh so that our latest changes are detected, and from there we can map our data accordingly. And to do that, you simply need to drag the data fields into the corresponding columns. And once that's done, we can hit OK and save our scenario. And this time, since we're only testing things out here and I'm working in a page that doesn't really get traffic, I'll just turn on the scenario so that it remains active and everything is published automatically. And if we did all of this correctly, we should be able to go to our Bricks form and submit it, but this time, see the information end up in Google Sheets. So let me go ahead and do that. And there it is. Our Bricks form is now sending information to Google Sheets. And I did promise to take this a step further in the beginning of this video, so let's go ahead and do that. This time, let's add the Gmail module so that our scenario not only saves the submitted information, but also automatically emails the person filling out the information to let them know that their inquiry has been received. So back in our scenario, Search for the Gmail module. Select the send an email action and in the to address, let's drag the email field that'll hold the person's email and add a subject line. And now let's add a message in the content field. You can get creative here and use fields from the scenario as well as HTML to improve the style and structure of the email. And once that's done, we can hit save and go back to our Bricks form to test everything out once more. And if we did this correctly, this time the data will be saved in Google Sheets and the user submitting the information will receive an email. And there it is. Our Bricks form is now connected to Google Sheets and people will automatically be notified that their inquiry was received. And that'll do it for this video. If you have any questions, please drop them below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if you'd like to support the channel, the best way to do so is to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you all for watching and happy building.